So, three months ago I made a video, um, this one, Projector Screen Issues, in which I talked about how many projector screens on the market, for whatever fucking reason, they aren't true 16 by 9 uh, you'll end up having uh, maybe 0.1 or 0.2 inches off, either on the horizontal or the vertical. Um, but there are some projector screens that if you measure the screen, it is a true 16 by 9 picture. Um, I've never really seen anything more than where you're going to have maybe a hair of screen showing, either on the horizontal or the vertical. Um, except with, like, really cheap piece of shit projector screens. However, I stand corrected. Um, so if we go to this Draper here, this is 16 by 10, not 16 by 9, which, in my opinion, 16 by 10 is better if you have a lot of old 4 by 3 content, um, because you get more in the height. But as you can see here, the viewable diagonal inch is 255, and the viewable width is 216, and the viewable height is 123. And you're probably thinking, well, what's the problem? Well, the viewable width is 216. We should have a viewable height of 135. This is a full 12 inches, which is a foot. A full foot of height is missing from this fucking screen. How the fuck did Draper have the balls to release this fucking thing? When not only is it not 16 by 9, it, it's not advertised, so I wouldn't expect it to be. It's not even the advertised 16 by 10. It's literally in the middle. It, it's a full foot off. So, it's taller than 16 by 9, but it sure as shit ain't 16 by 10. I honestly have no idea what fucking bullshit aspect ratio they're trying to make this, but it sure as shit ain't 16 by 10. And this is kind of the problem I have with kind of the projector market in general, is there's not as much R&D going into the development of new projectors as there are televisions. And what I mean by that is, in televisions we're seeing, you know, 4K, 120, we're seeing 8K, we're seeing all this shit, and it used to be... There was, I don't want to say as much, but back before 4K was a thing, there were really good projector options, and there were really good TV options. And ever since 4K came out, it seemed like, at least to me, there, there's been less development into projectors and making advancements for them. Uh, and I'm not sure why that is. Um, I also don't like the fact that we're putting smart functions into fucking everything now. TVs, projectors, you name it, I can't fucking stand it. I'd rather just buy a separate box, but... There's a lot of things I don't like about the projector market right now. And the biggest thing that pisses me off, and I'm not saying you can't have a screen that's... In my case, mine right now is set up as 102.4. It's a little more difficult to get, like, the .4... Uh, because projectors will always be true 16 by 9 or whatever aspect ratio they are. You're never going to have a, an issue where it, it's not a true aspect of whatever the fuck the aspect ratio is. So if you have a 16 by 10 projector, the screen, no matter, even if you have it at a 0.4, it'll be a true 16 by 10. If you have a 16 by 9 projector, even if you have 102.4, It'll still be a true 16 by 9 image. Unlike televisions where you might not have a true 16 by 9 image. And the reason why is some TVs uh, don't is because all TVs. Uh, so if they market it as 55, it'll actually be like 54 point something. It, it's a marketing thing that's been in TVs. And one of the things... I don't like is some of the worst marketing aspects of TVs, whether it be the not true size uh, is now we're seeing it with screens and have been for actually quite a while. Uh, we're seeing the smart shit come into play with uh, projectors because they want to do the all-in-one as opposed to just hook a fucking dongle to it. But honestly, this is the worst I've seen. 
a full 12 fucking inches in height. It's not there. So not only is this not 16 by 10, it, it, it is an abysmal piece of shit. And the other thing is, what's funny is Draper actually has a 255 that, uh, what was it? Not the 255. Uh, the 255 is 12 inches off. The 226 here is actually accurate, 120 by 192. So, 192. <gasps> 135. Okay. With, uh, that should be 120. That's 120. So this is accurate. The 226 is accurate. The 255 is 12 inches off. And then the other one up here, that's 283, that's also accurate. Um, so on this page, Draper has a 283 and a 2, what I say? 26. Uh, that's accurate. As you can see, this is 226.4, though. Um, and that's kind of the thing I get on projector screen store about, um, and why I don't really like them as a store, is because they'll advertise, what was it, 226? This is actually 226.4. Um, why they didn't add the point four, I don't know. Um, if you go to Screen Innovation's site, you'll also notice that the dimensions for these are rounded up for some reason. Uh, projector screen makes theirs exactly to the, uh, to the inch. It, it is an exact measurement. And I've actually showed that before. Uh, they're also ridiculously fucking expensive. Especially these ones. The Zero Edge. I mean, this one, fuck's sake, is 11 grand. Um... They're definitely worth it, though. I would definitely say Screen Innovations is worth the money. Um, I don't know much about Draper, but the fact that they would release a projector screen that is 12 inches off is just abysmal failure, in my opinion. And then the other thing is about this projectorscreenstore.com. Why are they rounding up on the Screen Innovations? I couldn't tell you. Um, I, I don't get the reasoning behind that. I, I really don't. I, I wouldn't even get it from an advertising standpoint. Because, again, you want there to be a true, whether it's 16 by 9, 16 by 10, whatever the fuck you have for an aspect ratio, you want it to be a true size. You don't want it to be off. Uh, also, what is with this right here? That makes no sense. 187 is what I was looking for. So 116 by 9. So they rounded up 0.1. But what's really funny is if we go to Screen Innovations Zero Edge Pro, Build your screen. Alright, what was it? A 16 by 10. Uh, what that we're looking at? 220.
So, 186.5625, they've rounded that up to 187. 116.6250, they've rounded up to 117. And if we actually do the fucking math on that, 117 minus 116 point... Six two fifty. Uh, they've rounded it up by point three seven five. So, so, so they're just rounding up for some reason on uh, Projector Screen Store, um, and I don't know why the fuck they're doing that. Honestly, this is not going to be accurate because if I buy this screen and I take a tape measure to it. It's not going to be 187, it's not going to be 117. It's just not. I just pulled up the thing on Zero Edge Pro's actual website. They're rounding up, and they shouldn't. If I buy a screen, whether whatever fucking store I buy it from, the actual true measurement should be there. And I don't know why the fuck they're rounding up. And, honestly... Uh, fuck Draper for making that screen, and fuck ProjectorScreenStore.com for not only allowing that screen to be sold, but also, for whatever reason, rounding up on every screen innovation screen there is. Uh, I don't know what this bullshit is with marketing, where everything has to be an even number, we can't have points on anything. I can't tell you how many screens I've seen that were true aspect ratio size, but were... Uh, like that Draper I just showed you, that was, uh, which one was it? 226.4, I think it was. Th they just leave out the point four, So it's actually bigger than what it, it, it says it is by point four inches, almost half an inch. But, but they don't fucking want to mention that for some reason. Um, and, and it's not just projector screen store, it's a lot of them. Uh, I think I showed on my last one some of the uh, uh, other ones on the market from other companies are like 0 .4, 0 .5 or whatever. Um, some of them are true to size aspect ratio wise. Um, some of them are off. Uh, I've never seen something though that's 12 inches off in my life other than the Draper 255 inch. Uh, that's absolutely fucking abysmal. Um, I don't know how the fuck they had the balls to even release that fucking thing, honestly. Um, but but this is what we have to put up with with projectors and home theater setups is the marketing it is not the greatest at points in time. Um, and then you really have to know what the fuck you're doing. You, you can't just rely on marketing. You You have to know... Um, about aspect ratios, you have to know, uh, about this site right here, Screen Size Calculator. It's an HTTP site, but it's fine. Um, it'll give you a warning, but otherwise, it, it's fine. Because if you go through yourself, and, and you start looking at projector screens, and you put this viewable height and depth, uh, height and width, sorry, into this calculator you'll find that there are a lot of screens that aren't true to size. There are some screens that aren't the size they're advertised at. There's a lot of that in the market, and, and it really pisses me off. And, and then you have sc screens like from Screen Innovations that are exactly true to size. And then you have this fucking store rounding up for God knows what reason. Um, I couldn't tell you why they do that. I I'm not affiliated with these assholes. But, uh... uh honestly, the fact that they had the balls to round up for whatever fucking reason with Screen Innovations and that they're willing to sell this screen that's 12 inches off. Uh, I mean, there's no fucking quality control there. Uh, I mean, how the fuck do you make a projector screen it be 12 inches off on the measurement, and somehow that's 
being sold. I imagine there are people who have bought this. Uh, how many I couldn't fucking tell you. But but it's just fucking abysmal. Like how the fuck do you let uh, do do you as a company in this case Draper let a screen be sold that's twelve inches off on your height? Like there's a full foot of fucking screen missing. And, and then how do you as, as a store? not check that what you're selling is what's advertised, first off, and also not advertised properly. Uh, again, this is 226.4. Why don't you mention the point four? These are all rounded up. Why? You're not advertising things properly on your fucking site. And this kind of shit pisses me off to no end. Because there seems to be no fucking accountability whatsoever for anyone making these things or selling things. Um, not just in the projector space, but also the television space. Uh, I mean, when I bought this laptop, um, I left about four negative reviews and flat out called them out for false advertisement. Because it was advertised as having a backlit keyboard. It doesn't. And every review got deleted. And it's not just uh, the place I bought this laptop from. Best Buy deletes negative reviews. Walmart deletes negative reviews. Almost every fucking online site will delete negative reviews to sell a shitty fucking product. And it is all over the tech space. If you can name a tech product from cables to a fucking display to projector screens, you name it, there's probably been a case where it's a piece of shit but all the reviews suggest otherwise because they've deleted a ton of negative reviews. And I honestly don't see it getting better. I really don't. And it is extremely frustrating that this shit is allowed to happen. But that's just where we are, unfortunately. And, uh... I don't know what else to say here. The fact that I can go looking at projector screens and find one that's not just 0.1 or 0.2 inches off, that's n not really noticeable. It, it, it really, it, it's gonna, it, gonna be a hair off on each side, if anything. That's not that bad. But a full foot? Like, how the fuck did that make it out the door? And, uh, I'm gonna leave that here, keep the video short. Um, sorry for not making a video in a month. I've been super fucking busy. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.